Hello, CFD TAers and greater fitness community. It's Michael from CrossFit Downtown Atlanta bringing you the workout of the day for the final day of May, May 31st, Sunday. It is called Triple Double, and it is a four rounds for time workout. Uh, consists of 25 double thrusters, either odd object or um, you know, dumbbells is what we're recommending. Uh, 25 double unders or 20 jumping jacks. 25 double odd object bent over rows. Just use the same thing you used for your uh, thrusters for that movement and then 50 mountain climbers. 20 minutes time cap on this one. Let's talk about the movements. So what we've got here, the thruster. The thruster is a combination of a push press, a combination of a push press and a uh, front squat. So on top of your front squat, you push press the weight. Let's look at it with the dumbbell and then with the odd object. So the uh, dumbbell thruster, you can take that first, uh, uh, when you take it off the ground, you can go right into your first front squat and then into your first thruster. So it's gonna look something like this. You're gonna grab the dumbbells, pull them into a squat, and then extend overhead. Next movement, don't go to the ground. So I'll show you three in a row. So here, bring them up, pull myself in, punch overhead. That's two, I'll show the third one from the side. Notice the elbows stay in front, they don't pin it down. And the timing is important. Don't start squatting until the bells hit your shoulder. Don't start pressing until you squeeze your butt. That's going to help tremendously in your efficiency. If at all possible, rest at the top. This will be where you breathe. You want to pick a weight on these, but you don't have to do um, with the dumbbell. The uh, thrusters can be done in two, maybe three sets on that fourth round, but one to two in rounds one and two. Recommending jugs for your odd object. The um, double unders, as we said before, rope. Notice how I have the rope laid out. This is what you want to do to make sure on your next round you're not trying to untangle the ropes. Once I'm done, I'll show you how to lay it back down. So, start with the rope out in front. Notice behind my knees to ensure that I don't uh, trip it on my shoes as soon as we start. And every time I jump, every time I jump, the rope will pass under me twice. Big breath in, then blow it out, and go. As always, make sure that you are that you're clear of anything around you before you start. It's gonna make things a lot better. When I'm done with the double unders, I'm gonna lay the rope down like that so it's ready for me to go again. If you're not doing double unders, modify with jumpy jacks. Instead of 25 double unders, 20 jumpy jacks. Heels underneath your hips, hands by your side, jump to here, out. Make sure your hands past your ears and your feet go outside your shoulders. Uh, last movement, or next movement, is the uh, double bend over row. So pick those dumbbells back up. Probably don't want to put them quite as far as I just did. And I'm going to show you from the side so you can see. From here, we want to push our butt back. Get nice and tight now. The bells are just the right of my shin. I'm gonna pull my elbows behind my back, then bring back down to four extension. Here, here. You don't want to be something like this or something like this. Push your butt back with the elbows, let your dumbbells go to your shin. Also, don't be down here like that. A nice, tight, uh, tight core we're doing this. Last movement is the mountain climber. It starts with one foot forward, one foot back. Every time your feet switch places, that's one rep step. One. Two, three, four, five, six. I do recommend pointing your your um, front toe, the leg that's forward, point that toe backwards. You'd be way more efficient. Okay, four rounds for time. Uh, Twenty, sorry, twenty-five dub, uh, double odd object thrusters, followed by twenty-five double unders or twenty jumping jacks, then twenty-five double odd object bent over rows and fifty non climbers. Hope you guys enjoy the workout. If you do, uh, please like the video and share it with your friends. Have a great weekend, great Sunday, and we'll see you tomorrow for June 1st.